Hi, I'm Landon Norris, and you're about to experience the art of dating. We're here at the McLaren Technology Center in Woking. We've actually had an opportunity to get our hands on the IT rig before it embarks on its journey uh, for the 22 season. It will spend 23 races around the globe in some pretty hostile conditions. Everything from the rain in Spa through to the dust and desert in Bahrain. The third car is what we call the IT rig, purely because without it, we can't get Daniel and Lando out of the garage. I'm joined today with James Hodge from Splunk, who's going to talk to us a little bit about our relationship um, with McLaren uh, and how Splunk are helping us perform at the edge, both on the track and off the track. So this is the IT rig, crunching terabytes of data to ensure I can maximize time, get podiums, get wins, and get many points. Yeah, well, the IT rig is the data brain of the garage and that's where all of the telemetry comes off the car into the garage and we serve that to all of the engineers but also stream that back to the team here uh, in Mission Control. The thing I love about that is you've got you know the race engineers, you've then got the, the, the engine manufacturer and then the best thing about it is IT are putting the thumbs up as well to be able to do that. So IT is such a critical part of a Formula One team that maybe people didn't realise. And we generate a lot of data across a race weekend. And we've got to make sense of it and we've got to make decision off the back of it. And we've got to turn data into, into doing. So the getting a single pane of glass and a real simplified view of that has been really important. I think the relationship that we've got with Splunk has really uh, helped us on that journey. This rig connects us here from track yeah. with all the data team here, all the way back to MTC to the mission control with all the engineers and strategists sat back there. This has uh, hundreds of VMs running on it and we need to splunk across all of that so we can see exactly what's going on to make sure you've got all of that data to compare yourself to Daniel and the other drivers out on track as well. I think, you know, Splunk Mobile is definitely giving us more flexibility uh, around quite hostile environments as well, right? Having that flexibility around the garage is, is really important just for the IT team, let alone all of the other people that get visibility to the same amount of data. And it's amazing because you arrive on a race weekend with just an empty shell and then someone's got to lay all the cables. How does that happen? So it's a huge process. We have an early setup crew that goes ahead of the actual race team. They run up to two kilometers of cabling, but we are building all the systems and infrastructure that, that feed ultimately that, that deadline point. So Daniel and I, we both look at each other's data to make comparisons and improve as much as we can. This is just how advanced Formula One is and what you need in Formula One to be at the best and to have the technology you need. It is obvious there's lots of data in um, Formula One. You know, we, we see it all the time. How do we get data that's coming off the car to then eventually result in a decision that's being relayed to one of your drivers? Yeah, confirm. Where data is born from is the 300 telemetry sensors that we've got on the race car. We process all of that data in the IT rig and then we surface that information around the garage, mainly to the important engineers inside the garage. It is the instant decision making, but actually back here at Mission Control, we're using that data to inform the longer term strategy of the race. Working with Splunk and getting that full visibility of our end-to-end -end infrastructure is, is really key. I've talked a lot about Mission Control, so let's go take a look. Welcome to Mission Control. This is where it all happens on a race weekend. And this is where the IT rig sends all of our data back for the team here to go and crunch all the numbers. So all the information from track comes back to mission control, comes over a dedicated network link. We'll run a number of simulations, hundreds of thousands of simulations against that data to start to predict the outcome of the race. And the idea is to bring all of that information centrally and push it back to the track in a coherent way there's a real kind of upstream, downstream flow of information that's happening at any one time. One of the toughest jobs is going to these new tracks because there's so much information we haven't explored yet. Data at new tracks is almost even more important than it is at a track we've been to for many years. Data is essential to everything that we do here. And everybody is a data hero, whether that is someone in the IT team or indeed the drivers. And every single person is inputting and turning data into doing. It. 